doing is rewriting, okay? And um, this, find some space to write. What's wrong with my thing? Okay, so we have two forms. Um, one is called exponential. Okay, this is exponential form, and it looks like um, x to the um, m over n, we could say. Okay, it has a power, or it has an exponent. Okay, there's a radical form. Okay, and it is called, um, it's with a radical, okay, and it's the N goes on the outside and the M goes on the inside. Okay, and these are equivalent. Okay, so essentially you're just rewriting them. And the way that I remember it is the inside over the outside. Because looking at it from exponential is the easiest, okay? And by the inside, I mean inside the house, just like we've been doing, or is it outside the house, okay? And so I always say inside, or is it outside? Okay, um, because that's gonna be, I feel like your easiest way to figure out what, what's happening here. So if we were to look at this, this is in which form? Which form is number one in? Is it in the exponential or radical form? It's in exponential form. <laughs> it's in exponential form, okay? It has an exponent um, and it looks like an exponent. My bad, guys. If you're watching the video, have a rough day. Okay, um, it is an exponential form. And so we can draw, that means we need to go to radical form. So you're going to draw the radical. Okay, we already know that the stuff inside the parentheses has got to go under the radical. Oh my God. Is going to say 7P. Okay, and then we can look at it and say, well, this goes on the inside and this goes on the outside. It goes inside and outside. So um, when, and this is the, I think the hardest part, but it is the easiest at the same time. If you have two things underneath the house, just use parentheses, okay? Or you can use parentheses even if you don't have one thing. Um, it's just gonna make it easier. So it goes on the inside and the three goes on the outside. And that's it. Mm -hmm. It's always inside over outside. Okay, so um, if we look at three, we're going to draw our radical because it's in exponential form. Draw your radical. We know that the P is going to go here, and you can just use parentheses every single time. It's not going to change anything. I would probably just get in a good habit of doing it. Okay, so we got inside over outside. So four goes on the inside, three goes on the outside. That's it. I told you. but it's the same kind of. Okay, so we're gonna draw our thing. We got 10M. We got inside over outside. So four and three goes on the outside. I know you guys always do. Come here, I got you. So when we do the quizzes, that's why I said I might do a short review video, but there won't be a review, like a thing. So on Tuesday, that's what you're doing, but just on a quizzes. Okay, uh, so you're gonna say square root, seven n. We got inside and the outside. So five and two goes on the outside. Okay, do you have to put the two there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes and no. Okay, what is out there if there's nothing there? A one, one. No. It's a two. It's a two, remember? So um, anytime you see like this, and there's nothing there. We learned it about when we were doing grouping yesterday, there's a two there. So technically, no, you don't need to put a two. I probably would just to whatever, but. Okay, so um, you got six X and it's gonna be three on the inside, two on the outside. Is everybody good? Yes. Okay. 
11, you got 2B to the 3. 1 goes on the inside, 6 goes on the outside. Okay, look at the back side. So these are going to be in what form? Are they in exponential or radical form? Radical. They're in radical. How can you tell? There's a radical. What's a radical? It's the square root sign, okay? And I don't say square root because I don't like to use that word, but the square root sign is the radical sign. If there's a radical, then it's in radical form, okay? That's a radical. So, uh, it still is going to work the same. They want you to go to exponential form, okay? And so, you're going to say 7x, okay? You take the inside part, and then what do we do? We do inside over outside? Is that how it goes? Yeah. Yeah. So, what's going to go on the top? Five on the inside. Okay, and same as we did on the other side, I would just get in the habit of using parentheses. Okay, um, because when we go a little bit further and you have to like distribute and that, it's going to screw you all up if you have not been doing parentheses. So 15 is going to be parentheses 7b. What goes on top? Four, bottom, three. Seventeen, you got five B. What goes on top? Five and three. Goes on the bottom. Nineteen, we got um seven X. What goes on top? What goes on bottom? Two. Two. Okay, so two's gonna go on bottom because why? There's always a two there with that radical. Okay, if there's nothing there, it's a two. Okay, so um, you're gonna have three B, and it's gonna be five over two. Um, you're gonna have A to the five over two. 